today. Um, today I'm venturing on making a bespoke tiara, which is designed around the Sydney Opera House. Um, we've got some designs here, and this is the one that I'm going to attempt to make. So I'd like you to join me, and I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Right, so I've got a bit begin my design with this lovely fantastic sterling silver wire. This is approximately two millimetres thick and it is um, sterling silver. And so here it goes. Okay, the first job is to begin with the base of the tiara. So I'm going to make this piece into um, the headband. And then once we've got the headband, I can then make the arches of the opera house. Uh, once we've got the design all put together, I'll then begin soldering, soldering it all together, and then filling it in with crystal, as requested by the bride. Now, because this wire is so thick, it is very difficult to work with, even though it is soft and fully annealed, it is still quite harsh. But, um, here it goes. Now, this bit's a bit boring, so... I will leave you here and um, I'll show you when I've got a bit further on. Okay, so all I'm doing first of all is I'm going to bend the wire to form this loop. Now this loop is the bit that grips your head behind your ears. Um, I do this because I don't like to leave the sharp end of the wire uh, plus having that dig in. Rather uncomfortable. So I begin by bending with my round nose pliers sort of into a loop shape and finish it. So a few tweaks here that you do have to watch it because the pliers if you push too hard they will actually mark the silver. But again all that's going to come out when we polish the tiara at the end. Okay now my next bit is I'm just going to try and get these to bit as flushly as possible so I can add just a little bit of silver solder and just make it nice and neat when I do all the soldering. Um, as you can you probably may be able to see it's quite a rough edge on there so I'm going to file that off. Any file will do. I'm just going to use a round edge file. all my filings. Okay, normally I would hold this nice and short on my bed pen, but I'm using that to hold my camera at the moment. <laughs> Not ideal. Why 
joy. So now I'm going to make the loops and then I'm going to have to try and work out now of course far where the, the solder joints are going to go because otherwise it won't work. Okay, so I'm going to make the loops now. I'm roughly working out where halfway along the wire is. Doing the first bend in half. Now I'm working with the natural bend of the wire as much as possible. And this is of course where it gets rather tricky because I do all my jewelry making by hand bending. I don't have the blocks or the tools that other jewellers might prefer to use. I just like the way that it flows when they're totally crafted by hand. So I've roughly got the centre there, and again I'm now going to look for the centre of the wire, which I may measure it, because I reckon I want to do roughly four and a half to five centimetres, it quite up. Nice. first arches. This one so. Now I will be uh, making them a bit more shaped with my hammer very shortly. For the time being I'm just happy just letting the wire work itself into place. organic process rather than a rigid one. Hi, Jenny here. I just want to show you how I'm getting on with my Sydney Opera House tiara. Um, I've started some of the soldering process um, and here it is so far. As you can see, it doesn't look anything like a beautiful sparkly tiara. And I've soldered the ends here in the centre and at this end. I'm currently debating whether to solder in these areas or not. But we've got the, the first basis of our tiara, which is the arches. And now I'm going to be working on the sails of the Opera House. Come back soon. Right, now I'm just going to show you a little bit of the work I'm going to be doing on the frame. First of all, as you can probably make out, I hope you can see how rough and uneven it is where I've soldered. So the idea is to make that smooth and look flawless. So I've got some files. I'm just going to file away at the metal to try and get a lovely even finish. As you notice, the silver's got a nice black and tarnish from the vein. But this will all get cleaned up when I put it in the pickle, um, which is an acid bath. Um, just at the end, and it will remove all that black tarnish and bring it back to a white. Just the natural colour of the silver. And then I'm um, Got it back then, I can polish it. Okay, but I'm just going to continue here with the filing, but just so you can see what I'm doing, and I'll show you my next step very soon. I just want to show you how far I'm getting with my Sydney Opera House tiara. As you can see, um, the frame is now completed. I've completed um, most of the children. There's still a few bits that I've left open, but this is for uh, when I complete the site. Uh, my next step, as you can see, is absolutely covered. Hello, Jenny here. 